So now we'll be looking at setting up our class pad to help us with counting techniques. So where are we going to go for that? Well, if you follow the instructions here, it says we need to go to um, 10z.1. Where's that? It's on the uh, one of the back pages of this, of this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to the back page, and this is going to help us set up our class pad getting ready for counting techniques. So here we go, 10z.1 setting up the class pad for counting techniques. So let's follow these instructions and help us set up our class pad. So we're going to set up a shortcut for factorials, permutations and choose functions. We look at choose functions in 10b and 10c. Permutations we're looking at uh, later on in 10a and also in 10b. So let's select our systems. Okay, so what we need to do, we go menu and we've got two windows here. I'm going to choose system. Then we need to choose the shift key. So shift keys are great, it makes a shortcut. So there's the shift key there. Now straight up it usually starts off with equals or something like that and you'll see you might have a function in here. So this is saying that if I press the button shift and then I press equals I'll get the solve function popping up whenever I use my main in, in my main mode. Now we're going to assign our um, uh, counting techniques and we've actually got quite a few already set up. If I go to um, one of my functions, uh, if I go one, we all know that's sign. If I press shift one, that's sign. Now, let's see what buttons are left. Well, if I choose four, that's free, and so seven. So I'm going to choose seven here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the factorial button. Do you see how it's already assigned? So we need to get to that point. So how do I assign it? Well, first thing, I'm just going to clear it, pretend like I don't have it, and then go onto my keyboard, so click that button. Now, to assign a, the factorial, uh, factorials are quite tricky to get to. So we need to go and go into our keyboard by pressing this button here, and press the down arrow. Now, you may note that we have this catalog popping up. We want to work in the advanced part. If you click the advanced tab, you should see something like this. And we have our three things that we're interested in. We've got our factorial here, our permutation here, and our choose function here. So press the exclamation mark here. Now to lock this in, we press the set button. There we go. And now whenever we press shift seven, up should come our factorial. Now while we're here, I recommend doing the permutation and choose functions. So let's set button eight. As you can see, I've already set it up, but let's pretend it's not there. So I'm going to set my permutation button. So click that and then press set. Then let's do button nine as our choose function. I've already got it there. So what I do is I press choose, press that button there, press set, and then press OK. Now let's te test if it works. Shift seven, factorial. Great. Shift eight, yep, permutation. And shift nine, yes, choose function. Great. Now this makes life a lot easier when evaluating counting techniques. All right. So now we can evaluate all our numbers from above, just confirming our answers using our class pad. Okay. So I'm up the top now, and it says use your class pad to confirm the answers by using the Shift Seven key, which is our factorial key. So four Shift Seven is our factorial button now. Twenty-four, five. Shift 7 minus 2, Shift 7. I should press the minus button. There we go. 118. And uh, let's just try one more, but it looks like it's working. This is just us getting familiar with it. 126. Fantastic. So now we've set up our class pad to use our for our counting techniques chapter.